Hey everybody, good morning. Happy Thursday. Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. What a beautiful Thursday morning it is. Look at that sky. Beautiful clear blue sky. 68 degrees right now, a little breezy. Expecting today's highs to be in the low 80s, 81, 82, 83, depending on where you are in Southwest Florida. That water temperature is 74 degrees. Another glorious morning here at Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park in beautiful North Naples, Florida. We had a fun morning yesterday out there in the water. We did get to see three manatees when we were cruising around and then we had that dolphin encounter in the backwater here. That was just amazing. I love it when the dolphins follow behind you, when they ride your wake, when they follow along behind your boat. See if we get lucky today and spot any dolphins out here in the water. It is gorgeous. As I look around, I see a couple little thin, high, wispy clouds out in the Gulf. You can barely see them. I don't know if that's there's if that's smoke out there or clouds down on the southwestern horizon. I know there was a fire. We could see some smoke yesterday from the boat looking back to shore. Look at that. Look at that sky. Glorious. Glorious, glorious, glorious. No red tide. The map was free of red tide when I looked at it this morning. Yesterday, the wind picked up and it got pretty darn bumpy out there in the Gulf. We were rocking and rolling there towards the end of our boat trip out there in the Gulf. And I see there's some, looks like red drift algae washing up on the beach here. Nothing to be alarmed about. Just not the most pleasant thing to look at. You can see it out there in the water. It's little dark patches out here along the edge. Good morning. I'm gonna go back up on the beach here. As I was walking the beach earlier this morning, just a few minutes before I went live. I came across some tracks on the beach. Let's see if I can find them now from one of our little gopher tortoises. Looks like one of our little gopher tortoises was out on the beach. It looked like a gopher tortoise. Here, see these tracks down here? Looks like one of our little gopher tortoise was out making the rounds on the beach. Every once in a while, you'll catch them out here wandering around. 
This guy went in a circle here. <laughs> Here's his tracks. If you look closely here, you can see them. Coming along here, coming down. And he just kind of circled around. He was all over the place. I couldn't see where he went back up into the dunes. But there's his tracks there. Somewhere, he went back, he kind of zigzagged. He was all over the place, all over the place. I would have liked to have caught him out here on the beach. It's fun to see him walking around out in the sand. Out in the open. But that's where they, that's where people see him walking on the beach and they think they're, they mistake him for turtles, not tortoises, and they want to pick them up and take them out to the water. And they are not turtles, they don't swim. So the best advice is don't pick anything up. Leave everything alone. Tortoises, you can see, they got like big nails. Turtles have flippers. Pretty soon the sea turtles are gonna be showing up here. We're gonna start seeing some sea turtle tracks on the beach. Captain Dave is telling me that during nesting season, when you're out there in your boat, you just you see the sea turtles everywhere. See them all over. That'd be fun to go out and on the boat and look at the sea turtles. Oh boy, that pelican just got himself a big fish. Oh, he just swallowed it down. It was kicking around in his gullet there. It was a pretty good sized fish. Boy, they're busy out here. Another one just dove in. I want to see where this one goes. Yeah, he's got a full belly. Where's he gonna go? I guess they don't have, he doesn't have a full belly. <laughs> Come back this way. Where are you going? They get moving so fast, the gimbal, I can't spin it around fast enough to follow them. The gimbal kind of lags behind when you move the camera. If I go too fast, it won't stop. Once it gets moving, it doesn't stop, it just keeps going. Well, those two pelicans are making a go of it. They're just making their way right up the beach, diving into the water. Morning, Jackie, Virginia, Jan. How are you feeling today, Jan? Good morning. How are you doing? A dead crab. Uh, poor thing. Little dead crab. Yep. That, you know, is that a blue crab? Yeah, it looks like maybe a little blue crab that washed up on the beach. 
I don't know. I don't know what kind of crab that is. It's another one of those spotted crabs. I don't know what that is. And that's not a leopard crab. Uh, poor thing. The birds will make a meal out of that, peck at it. Well, what does Mother Nature have in store for us today? About an hour and a half before low tide here. Donnie, good morning. Donnie and Sean, good morning, good morning. Rose, good morning. Nice and peaceful here this morning. Things are definitely quieting down. Folks heading back home, back north.
Good morning. Good morning, good morning. He's already taken his walk up to his stump here. Got an early start on his stump run. Boy, it looks like Roy Got fed very well by Kim yesterday out here at the beach. <laughs> Looked like he was feasting on some salmon in one of the pictures she shared. A lot of algae out here, red drift algae. Not red tide, red drift algae. Something totally different. I don't know if you can see the little dark clumps out here in the water. Big patches of it. They should be going out though since the tide is going out. What you doing? What you doing? Well, you awful early. It said awful early for your walk. Well, you said put it in the shade. You said put your chair in the shade of the tree. I know. So that's where it is. I know. I think it might. It's, oh, it's beautiful. It is beautiful here. Yeah, Annette's, oh, An, Annette's probably going to be up there waiting for you. Yeah. I said Annette will probably be there waiting for you. Oh, I don't think I've done it here today. Yeah, she is. Is she? Yeah, she'll be here. Oh. She pro she'll probably be there when you get back. That'd be great. Her and probably her daughter. It is glorious. Yeah. Did you see any dolphins while you were walking along? I haven't seen any in a week. No dolphins? Hey, no Manatees, week. mermaids, submarines, sea monsters? All of the above. None of them? Submarine races are great. The, yeah, the race and the submarines. Yeah. We can always watch the I submarine races. <laughs> oh, boy. It's beautiful. Got some seaweed out here this morning. Yeah. Out of this world. It is out of this world. And five minutes away from the house. And that yeah. I said, and only five minutes away from home. Yeah, isn't it amazing? Isn't it beautiful? I was thinking that this morning here. A huge big sea. Five minutes from home. We are lucky. Some people drive drive half a day to get here. Isn't that the truth? Or more. Some people have never been to the beach. Do you believe that? There's some people that have never seen a beach in their life in oh, person. God. Hard to believe, but it's true. I always been here beaches. We grew up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Right yep. on Lake Michigan. So you had the lakes. Right near the beach. Yeah. 
Used to go down every day. Every day he'd go to the water? Even in the winter time. <laughs> Well, we are spoiled. Yeah. We are blessed is right. Amen to that. Okay, I'm going to go up to the end here. If I see any dolphins, I'll send them your way. Okay? All right. Yeah, be careful there. God bless them. A man and his sea. <laughs> bird legs. <laughs> That's right. That's what they used to be called back in school. Bird legs. Good morning. See, you can run, but you can never hide with these phones. Uh, talking to a doc. <laughs> a doc. Uh, everything okay? Good. 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 Yeah, he's a, that's him right there. Yeah, he walks every morning. Oh my gosh, I didn't that's, know that. I he's walking that. early this morning, though. It's usually a little er, a little later. This is it for us. Oh, okay. Thank you. We watch you all the time. Have a safe trip. We don't know what to do without. It. Have a safe trip. We will. We'll see you on, on the internet there. Yeah. Bye-bye. Oh, two more friends heading out. You can definitely tell that people are leaving Southwest Florida, especially Naples. The traffic, eh, it's starting to die down, but we got a lot of construction going on here in Southwest Florida. New homes, homes being remodeled. The real estate market's going nuts here. Somebody's telling me that there was only 600 and just under 700 homes on the listed now. And they said all of Collier County. I can't believe that. That's like nothing considering there's probably, I don't know, 10,000 realtors at least here. <laughs> Seems like everybody's got a real estate license in Southwest Florida. But the inventory is pretty much nil, zero. So prices are at their, they're just skyrocketing. They're not at their premium. They're getting above their premium. They're getting higher and higher. It's really hard to find a home here in Naples. So more people are staying, moving down and staying. This one here, 
This one over here. Are you going to be leaving us soon? No. You're going to stay? That was a pretty good no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I almost heard a little Minnesotan come out there and then no. <laughs> He's walking early. I don't know what's going on. I said, you're walking early. We got, they opened the gate at about 10 of. Oh, yeah. Oh, was that you? Okay. Did you have something on your roof? Was, did I? Did you have something on the, the roof of your car? No. Uh, I thought the person behind me had a... And I don't know who was behind me. Uh, I don't think anybody was. No, it was kind of quiet after yeah, that's after the first little line. Yeah. But it's definitely quiet out here. I mean, it's getting better and better. <laughs> All right, Elsie, see you later. Did you... <laughs> I figured Elsie would be leaving us soon, and her response was no, 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 not yet. She's still sticking around. There's our prayer tree. One of our prayer trees, the most famous prayer tree of all. Gosh, I was hoping to see Kevin. The great fisherman. Did you see Kevin yesterday reeling in that kingfish, that big king mackerel? That's a pretty nice size mackerel. That's about 36 inches, about three feet. Mackerels, one of those fishes that it's an acquired taste. A lot of people don't like mackerel. It's an oily fish. I like mackerel. I like it smoked. But that was an awesome experience for Kevin. I mean, we had a great, the dolphin sighting and catching that fish, that was awesome. That was absolutely awesome. We had a great day yesterday. Just those two events, plus the opportunity to be out in the water, was fantastic. Thanks to Captain Dave. Captain Dave. He does not do charters, in case you're wondering there. I think he might do sightseeing tours. But he just took me and Kevin out. He needed wanted to get his boat out and run it. So that was kind of a special little deal he took us out on. And going out fishing was an added little surprise there. We were just expecting to, I just wanted to putz around the backwaters and see if we could find some dolphins. And then he decided it was time to go fishing. So that was fun. And it was just absolutely unbelievable. We put, well, he put the lines out in the water. He put two lines out because there's, Kevin and him got their fishing licenses. 
He put two lines out there and I stopped the camera and I stopped the camera for maybe a minute. After they got their lines out, I let it run for a minute. So it was within two minutes that they caught that first fish. And that was it. We didn't catch any more after that. <laughs> I guess we trolled out there for about 20 minutes afterwards. Zip. Got no, nothing, nada. No strikes. But one's better than none. Made for some good video. <laughs> Looking forward to doing it again. I definitely would like to go out there when the turtles are out here. People say you just see them popping up all over the place. That would really be fun. To see those loggerhead sea turtles and what other turtles might be out there. Wasn't it beautiful though? Wasn't those colors beautiful out there in the water? Do you see that emerald green? That emerald green water just gorgeous out there when we get offshore. You're just tuning in. Good morning. Happy Thursday. We are up at the north end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park in North Naples, Florida. If not spotted any dolphins yet this morning. Probably not have not been seeing much in the way of shells along the beach. Might be some out in the water. I really haven't noticed anything on the beach itself. pass considering there's only an hour oh an hour maybe left before low tide the tide is quite high here right now Well, 
looks like the wind is still coming from the east. Judging from the flags over there. When it comes, when it blows. Well, I think our friend Phil took off. I don't think we'll be seeing Phil here. I think he headed out yesterday. Well, that old sailboat's still there, unfortunately. Over there, just taking a rest in retirement. Fort Myers Beach up there on the left. Quiet up here this morning, not many fishermen. Not a whole heck of a lot of fishermen this morning. There is a nice little line of shells up higher on the beach here. Nothing's jumping out at me and my back is still a little sore. Going out on the boat yesterday wasn't the best thing to do, but I couldn't resist over and looking at the shells this morning. Sorry. I'll leave them here for somebody else to enjoy.
some fishermen heading out there. Little drop out there. Little loss of signal. Little snowy egret here. What you doing up there? Hmm? What you doing up there? It's got a hurt foot. See it dragging its right foot behind itself. It's got a hurt right foot. Now if Kevin was here, we could have getting that taken care of. Looks like it has a broken leg. Sad, sad, sad. It's just dragging that right foot behind itself. Only a couple fishermen. Only two fishermen out here this morning. Wow. There's a fool. Yep, see all kinds of stupid out here. I don't know, I just see all kinds of stupid out here. Maybe he just arrived. Yeah. <laughs> just getting to the United States. <laughs> he just swam here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it, 
is dangerous to swim out in that pass. It is insane. Quite a few people have gotten swept up in the current there, including, you know who, Mr. Roy. Mr. Roy got swept up in the current out there. Roy thought he could swim across here, and he wound up over there in those mangroves all tangled up. The current just pulled him right over there. Fortunately, somebody saw him and was able to rescue him. Oh, Roy and his angels. I think what they need to do here is these like four by four signs that are up along the dunes here they need to make them bigger they need to make them about 12 by 12 and put a couple hundred of them out here because apparently the ones they have out here people don't see them even though as you're walking out here, you walk right by them. I don't know. I'm guessing it's part of, just like here in Florida, the stop signs, you know, all our street signs, our yield signs, our, you know, warning signs, our traffic lights in Florida, those are suggestions, apparently. They're not laws, they're just suggestions that if you feel like stop and stop, That's what it seems like a lot of times. Every once in a while, the sheriff's department here sets up at intersections and just writes bookfuls of tickets. Rolling stops are not stops. I wish I could be out on that boat again today. That'd be fun. I think we're gonna get some rain next week. Some well needed rain. But for now, beautiful day. Just a clear day, clear sunny day today. The wind is supposed to pick up. But it is gorgeous. You can see fish jumping out here in the pass. But no dolphins yet. Fish jumping, but no dolphins. Hey, thank you for the stars. I appreciate that. To all of you that are financial supporters, thank you so much. Whether you send stars to my videos, or if you happen to be a regular monthly supporter, which is awesome, I really do appreciate that. And those of you that send a little tip now and then to my PayPal account, I really appreciate that. That is awesome. You can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post, up in the text description. I really do appreciate that. All of that money, it's not a fortune, believe me. But that extra money definitely 
helps out. That's what gets me over the hump every month. So thank you. Thank you, thank you. Nine thirty is when the tide's gonna start coming back in. The water doesn't look very bad here considering the tide's going out. But it's gonna look even nicer than this in a couple of hours. Get clearer. I hope Annette is down there when I get back down the beach. I hope she's down there with Roy. She's such a sweetheart. I don't know if any of you remember Annette from last year out at the beach. We used to see her in the morning at Vanderbilt Beach, Roy and I, when the park was closed and we would go to Vanderbilt. She just took a liking to Roy, her and her teenage daughter her daughter said Roy reminded her of his grandpa so that I don't know how long they were here a week or whatever they were taking Roy out she took him grocery shopping out to eat they had a blast unfortunately she leaves tomorrow but Roy has been in good hands for the past week. His daughter was here, and that's been here for the past several days. Kim down here the other day. Roy always seems to have someone looking out after him. God bless him. Well, I'm thinking it's about that time to start a new live feed here. So stay tuned, I shall return. I will be back momentarily. Maybe I'll snap off a few little photos to share later. I always like sharing some photos just to rub it in. <laughs> no, I love sharing our park. The beauty that surrounds me here. So if I don't see you later, have a wonderful, wonderful Thursday. Throwback Thursday. Stay safe and stay healthy. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Spread the word, share the love. Bringing people together one beach walk at a time. That's what it's all about. Anyway, hopefully I'll see you here in, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes or so. Until then, tally-ho, tally-ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.